So happy Saturday morning. Uh, quick review, rent or buy the Enter the Gungeon game. Um, I'll be uh, as honest as I can be, as always, because I want you guys to save some money. Rent or buy the Enter the Gungeon indie game from Devolver Digital, uh, one of my favorite game creators, indie gaming. I think they're really, uh, really good in making those games. Uh, sum up of everything I played. If uh, if I was back in 1985 and played this game, it'd be normal. By normal, I mean whatever uh, parts of the game you did and dying, like you're almost at the end boss and you have to restart all the way from the beginning, I'd be happy. But this is 2016. This game plays great. It's fun and everything. It combines like... I'm going retro gaming. I know I've got some age group on this channel, but people that are 35 will know what I'm saying. If you ever played Gauntlet and Smash TV, it's like if they had a baby together. So you're playing a medieval time dungeon based game, but you have guns and random guns and random maps are made every time you restart the game. It's never, never the same levels. That's the good part. I love the gameplay, the facts that you restart anew. But the fact that I hate I wish you could save your game after every level you successfully do because the boss are hards and everything and you can go watch gameplay if you want. I'll put the links down below. I did a couple of those and uh, the further I guess I, I, I got, the further it was dungeon number two. I was at the end boss of dungeon number three and uh, yeah, it was kind of disappointing. The fact that you die and you have to restart all the way fresh from the beginning in a new dungeon. So if you die, you got one life, you got three hearts, just like back in the 80s. But the game is tough. For top challengers, like real hardcore gamers, they will love it. So I said to myself, it's super tough, right? So I'll say I'll slap in a second player because you can local multiplayer it, right? But no online. That's the other bummer. There's no online to have somebody to help you. If you have some, you know, high-end friends player experience with those games, I could possibly go further in the game, but uh, not sure, not sure. So, as I was saying, if you slap in a second player, a second player can die in the game while you're still alive, and he's just a spirit, a ghost that doesn't even do damage. And luckily, sometimes you'll find a revive rarely, and you'll bring back the second player. But like I said, if the second player is not as good as you, you're not going to amount to too much. So I did most of the games. I got like way deeper in the game by myself than having a second player with me. So the downer point for this game, there's no online. Why in 2016 there's no online co-op for this? It would have been epic. Uh, having to... Going back all the way from the beginning when you die. Eh. Really hated that. So I'm still gonna play it, but a lot less. I just I just like got so further down and you die and restart all the time. It's just why not make a safe feature after you've done the second dungeon and restart like you know? to get to an ending. I don't see how you can finish this game, but you know, very competitive player, and if you have a good local friend that you could play with, maybe you'll get further in the game. So, I wasted 15 bucks for you guys. It's not a bad game, it's fun, but it gets very frustrating and boring after a while. So, I would save that 15 bucks. I can't do a rent or buy video, because you can't rent this. It's only in the gaming, so I wasted 15 bucks for you. Tell you guys right here, save your money. Uh, enter the dungeon is definitely not a buy for me, but I am uh, owning it right now. But to my disappointment, it's not the game I expected. It is, but you can't save and you can't progress. You have to restart all the time. 